What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John 64 and hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today people, we'll be reviewing Ghost Recon's Wildlands. And if you guys haven't seen my last review on this game, it was on the open beta and I was pretty much doing a live review and I gave the game a 7.8 out of 10 and that was on the open beta. And I did address a lot of issues in that video, I suggest to go back into my videos and to my uploads and check it out so you guys can see my first thoughts about this game on the open beta. So now I have the full release game and I've been playing it since day one and I can tell you minor things did change from the open beta. Not that much though, not that it's like a whole impact like of movement system and you know a little bit on the animations like not much has changed but I saw a little bit of differences on the vehicles though. Cause I did mention a lot of stuff about the vehicles on the open beta saying that they only stick to the floor well they kind of like slide a little bit more and do have a little bit better handling compared to the open beta i think they did kind of like uh tweak that out a little bit without pretty much stating in the patch notes but uh yeah i mean my, one of my major concerns about this game was the movement system i mean i already got used to it because you know people keep on saying this is like the division and yes i did come into this game expecting to be a little bit like the division but to be honest after playing it for like two weeks already this is nothing like The Division because I know people's first thoughts were like oh this is The Division 2.0 it is really not it's different the movement is different there's vehicles in the game there's actually stealth in the game there's no weapons to level up you can only level up your character and you're not made out of sponge you don't absor absorb a lot of bullets into your body neither does the enemy I mean you can easily take out people like right away even in the hardest difficulty everybody is almost like a one-shot kill so it only gets like difficult like in the amount of enemies per base that's pretty much it but uh you know the, do you become bullet sponge at some point no so to be honest this game is nothing like the division this is a whole different game so for those people who had thoughts like this i just cleared it out <laughs> i played this game for two weeks and i'm telling you this is not like the division so now moving on to the next thing, uh, let me talk about missions, okay? Because this is my major concern about this game. It does become repetitive. I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it or anything. The game does become repetitive a little bit, but not as much. Because let me tell you guys why. Because I know a lot of reviewers out there who reviewed Ghost Recon Wildlands already uh, pretty much mentioned like this game is majorly repetitive. To be honest, if you approach every single mission or every single side mission differently, like you drop off out of an airplane, you drop off out of a chopper, you sneak around, you use a tank, you go in, in the base with a gunner just straight up shooting. Like there's just many ways you can approach every single side mission in every single mission. And uh, that's what makes it, you know, pretty much a little bit more fun. And uh, people do not understand that because all they do is treat this game like it was GTA 5. It is not GTA 5. You can die pretty easily. So um, if you want to have like the most out of every single mission inside missions, I suggest to do it like differently. If last time we just went straight up gunning, this time do it stealthily with a different gun, with a shotgun, with a pistol, with an assault rifle, with an SMG. There's just so many weapons to choose from. And that's a big positive about this game. There's just so many ways you can just, you know, go to bases and with whatever gun you want. That's a big plus for me. I enjoyed that part. I went in with snipers, with shotguns, with freaking assault rifles, SMGs, with everything. It's just doesn't like, uh, it, I don't feel like the repetitive is like, uh, it, like at all. It doesn't repeat for me a little bit in the in the mission parts because I do approach every single mission differently, differently, and also the convoys. I mean, you can see some you know enemies escorting a big truck. I do end up getting the big ass digger, and those have like a like a big ass uh, you know dirt lifter or whatever, and you can knock out like an enemy out the way and pretty much leave you a clear path towards the convoy. That was super fun to do, and also in this mission that you see in the background, I was using the big rig just to take out the roadblocks. I didn't even know there was going to be roadblocks and I just wanted to go into the truck because I know there was going to be, you know, enemies chasing my 
my, you know, my brother over here. I'm playing with my brother in the background, by the way. His name is Dark Raven. We were having so much fun in this game. And to be honest, you want to have more fun in this game, you got to have some friends or a brother to play with you in the game. Because I believe, you know, cooperating and, you know, adjusting and, you know, and everything, like setting up a mission, it's just so fun together because you you get to tell people what to do and everything and that's super fun because with the ai the ai that you have like if you're playing it alone you have like some random ai they fucking suck they don't cooperate with you half the time and it kind of feels dead in the game i don't know man i don't like playing this game for myself but uh you play together with somebody else it becomes a lot more fun so um so let me tell you guys the positives about this game so far it has to be you know the, the way you can approach the missions it does become repetitive though so that's the positive and negative side about the missions another positive thing has to be the customization the weapon customization the amount of weapons that's a big positive there's just so many things you can choose from and also there's a lot of challenges you can do uh there's already a community challenge going on which is longest sniping shot apparently i'm not even close to the number one guy the number one guy got 1598 or something like that and that's freaking crazy because the ps4 sucks in rendering so uh yeah i mean there's a lot of things you can do in this map the map is freaking huge like it's it's bigger than freaking gta 5 and it is it's not all empty like Red Dead Redemption. Like you go back to Red Dead Redemption, the map is huge, but it's mostly desert. <laughs> and in this game, there's a lot of mini bases out there you can approach and take away stuff like attachments and new weapons and new skill bonus. You know, there's a lot of things you can do in the map. It's crazy. I've never seen a game like this before, except for GTA 5. I mean, GTA 5, sorry. Except for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That, that would be as close as I can compare this, you know, game to. Not the mechanics in it, everything, though. No. I'm just saying, like, about the map, you know, the amount of activities you can do is just insane. Even though some of them are repetitive, but still, you can approach every single mission differently. Uh, the vehicles, though, do become repetitive. I do admit that. The vehicles, I wish there was a lot more than just pickup trucks and minivans and regular cars. Um, I just wish there was more, but I did hear... I mean, I did get the season pass and I, I'm pretty much going to get new vehicles, you know, some of the new dirt racing vehicles and rally vehicles. So um, it's kind of sad they did keep those on the DLC. Another thing that's going to happen in the future is going to be multiplayer 4v4. Um, you know, it's going to be some verses going on. So I cannot wait to like review that so I can tell you guys if it's good or not. Because, uh, you know, this game, I mean, this company, Ubisoft, did make Rainbow Six Siege. And I've been hearing a lot of positive things about this game. So um, imagine that into implementing it into this game. And I know there's less gadgets compared to that game, but, um, you know, it's still, it's a great game overall. And, and uh, hopefully they do a great thing with a PvP and everything. So um, that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about, I did talk about the gameplay. The graphics look okay-ish, depending what TV you have. I mean, if you have just a regular 1080p, then pretty much you're not going to get the full experience out of it. But, uh, you know, I'm just saying that the graphics are decent um the movement system is a still like a little bit wonky but i got used to it already at this point it's not as impressive as i thought it's going to be but it's still like the same thing as the debate open beta the vehicles are repetitive um you know i'm just seeing a lot of the negatives but uh but yeah like it's still an okay-ish game if you've got no games to play in the summer this is one game to pick up there's just so many things to do man and uh that's it you know pretty much i want to talk about this video so i want to give this game still a 7.8 out of 10 because you know the missions there's really not much to do in differences though it's, I mean, it's just escort kill this target um you know convoy uh infiltrate hack the computer i mean there's not much differential but there's just so many ways you can approach the the, the bases so that's one thing that really covers it up so um it's, it's still a fun game for me, it's still a fun game. I don't care what anybody says. It's a fun game to me. And I still want to give it a 7.8 out of 10. So that's my final score for this game. What do you guys think about Ghost Recon's Wildlands? Do you guys like it? Do you guys have it? Do you guys are, are thinking of buying it? And my suggestion is, I recommend it. But if you have a friend to play with. I mean, if you're going in alone, I'm telling you, it gets a little bit boring because you just feel like the world is dead sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, but... Um, I do I do recommend it for the summer. No, just wait a few more months and just wait it till it drops a little bit like to like 40 bucks or something and then just get it. So it is worth your 40 bucks. So that is it people. 
Tell me your opinions in the comments sections. I'll read it later. And subscribe for more.